and the quality of this palette is definitely not worth twice as much as Colourpop's, you know? Hello my loves, welcome hey, or welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna be doing a quick unboxing <laughs> I'm talking about this palette right here Yeah, it is the mini size 2 palette Actually, you know what? I don't know why I keep calling it mini size 2, it's pan size 2 You see it right there as you guys can see, it's by Sugar Pill Cosmetics I came up with this eye look today which I really hope that you guys like and enjoy creating with me If you guys are interested in hearing what I have to say about this baby, then keep on watching I know it's just a white empty box but I'm not about to show you guys my address. You know what? Okay, there you go. This is from Sugar Pearl Cosmetics. And you're not going to believe what I got from them. Just kidding. You are going to believe what I got from them. So my ass ran to their website on September 1st when they launched their mini size 2. I believe that's the palette name. If that's not the right theme, I'm going to go ahead and insert the right name anyway. Oh, this is cute. First impressions. I love me this. Oh my goodness. I only purchased from their website only one other time. And if I'm being honest, it didn't look this cute. So this is how it looks like inside the box and there should be two palettes in here so let's talk about this little sticker that i got first i got two of them so this little mini card says sugar pill portable entertainment system level up your makeup and it's like stickers i believe oh my freaking god that's adorable as shit like hell yeah <laughs> this is one thing i didn't even know i needed in my life that i need in my life right now but anyway moving on i'm gonna save one of those stickers so those are the palettes in there they're wrapped pretty nice it seems like i hope they're not broken so on the bottom of the package is actually my invoice i like that package but i'm just hoping that my palettes are not broken in here they came with a yellow wrap there's no bubble wrap in here oh now that i'm looking at these palettes i definitely should have wore green and not blue or light blue ah, okay it's whatever we're gonna make it work <laughs> So here's the palette guys and ta -da -da -da, there's two of them because one of them is going to go in a giveaway on my Instagram page. So if you're not following me there, I'm not going to go ahead and even open this until I'm shipping it to the person to make sure that it's intact. And the person also gets one of those cute stickers. It comes in a green packaging. I think the other one came in a pink packaging. And those are the shades in the back. And I love that little cute kitty in the front. I love it. And inside of the packaging is one of my favorite colors of all time, which is lilac, as you guys know. Or if you guys don't know me, hi. That is one of my favorite colors. I already made it dirty. I don't even know how. But this is the front of the package and this is the back. And it comes with a heart mirror. How freaking cute. And then those are the shades. I haven't seen a lot of like reviews on this palette for whatever odd reason. I know it's just another rainbow palette or whatever, but you guys know how much I love my rainbow palettes. So the first thing we're going to do is play with the formula of this palette and see how good it performs. And then I'll do quick swatches for you guys at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. I like the detail though. I didn't talk about that, but it's very cute. Kind of matches my nails. I definitely should have worn neon green. <sighs> it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids off camera and I'll be right back and we're gonna do this together, okay? And today I'm gonna be playing with those three brushes and more, but they're brand new from e.l.f. and they're aesthetically pleasing and I just wanted to share it with you guys. They're very cute. I just unboxed them in my last video or my next video. I don't know which one yet, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys how pretty they are before I go ahead and destroy them. But I'm gonna be taking the first brush and I don't know. I really like that color, that green one, and I think it's called Button Mush. So I'm gonna be taking that and I'm actually gonna be using this mirror that it comes with. That's what I got so far. The the first palette got really good reviews and I actually purchased it. I don't know about this one. I really hope this one performs as good. And I'm only going to be doing this eye on camera with you guys. Okay, that shade is not disappointing at all. It's very pigmented. It's not patchy. Okay, I'm going to try... Hmm. So I'm going to try that blue next. And it's called Elixir. And I'm going to take the more fluffier brush from e.l.f. Look at that, guys. Wow. I'm just placing next to the green. I definitely see a lot more fallout on the blue than the green. But it doesn't really bother me. I'm going to go back in with the green now. Because I feel like I lost some of that. And I just wanted to let you guys know this might actually be one of my last rainbow looks. Because I've done many of them throughout the months. And now fall is coming. We kind of have to take a break from the rainbow looks. Because you guys probably are tired of it. But these shades are blending out so beautifully together and they're pretty pigmented so so far i'm not disappointed at all i need to wash my brushes soon guys so that's the next shade i'll be taking and it's called loading oh nice 
That one has a lot more fallout as well. And I'll just blend up very close to my brows. That shade is beautiful. Oh my goodness, yes. By the way, if you're like following this eye look, I go back and forth a lot and you might not always see it because I try to make the videos go very quick. Just don't think I dip into the color one time and you know, it's perfect, it's ready to go. Nope, that's not what happens. And if other people make you believe that's what happens, they're lying to you, sis, okay? And by the way, I forgot to mention that this is an all matte palette, nine shades all matte. It does not have any metallics, it does not have shimmers, it does not have glitters. Just an FYI, but I have a feeling that you guys probably like noticed that anyway. This shade is such a beautiful transition shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that pink. I rely on my fluffy Morphe brushes so much guys. They're so nice when it comes to like transition shade placements. And this shade is called Double Jump. And it looks like that. It's such a beautiful pink. Oh yes. What do you guys think of this shade? This also has a lot of fallout. Okay, so far we got like four shades. You guys know how I feel about, you know, testing out shades. I really want like the blue to be like the main focus. But I don't know how I can make that happen because I already used it there on my crease. Hmm, I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and try the army green shade, which is called Grind. The greens don't seem like they have a lot of fallout. Oh! What the heck? That green performed better than I thought it was gonna. Mmm, Mina, you should not judge a book by its cover. I still want to cut my crease, guys, and place one of the matte shades there. Okay, guys, not the best cut crease, but we'll do. I don't want it to be perfect anyway because I'm placing another shade on there. But I'm gonna go back in with that green shade that I love so much now and diffuse that harsh line. And since I'm not seeing the blue so much, I'm sorry, I have to do that light blue. It's the star of the show, like, how can I not, right? I'm gonna go ahead and place that on where I cut the crease. Oh! I sound like a dying animal. I love that blue, guys. I love that blue so much. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with my pink a little. I really hope that, guys, I remember what I just did on this eye. <laughs> For this eye look. Oh, <laughs> So guys, I also kind of primed the bottom of my eyes. I'm gonna do that again a little. It kind of helps the shadows stick on there, I've noticed. I love the green shades, guys, but I like giving a lot of the shade chances. So guys, I'm thinking between the purple and the burgundy. I don't know, it's not It's not burgundy. Oh, it is burgundy, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna do the purple. <laughs> Okay, now we're taking the purple shade and it's called Final Boss. This is a beautiful purple shade. Look at that. And I'm just gonna place it right here. And the purple does not have as much fallout either. Look at that shit, guys. Too pigmented. Sugar pill ain't plain. Okay, let me take this coral shade that I haven't used yet and it's called Player 2. <gasps> so I kind of lost my purple in the process. I'm gonna go back in with that one more time. Okay, and last but not least, I was kind of saving that beautiful bright yellow in the inner corner. I haven't had a lot of luck with yellows in my inner corners in the past, so we'll see how that works. And if this shows up the way I want it to show up, like, Sugar Pill is gonna be my new hero. Okay, maybe not hero, but you know, you guys know what I'm saying, right? By the way, how have you guys been doing? Did you guys have a nice labor weekend? I know most of you guys had a three-day weekend, and that's awesome. Awesome, right it was one of my friends 21st birthday last night and we kind of got wasted i kind of have a hangover right now but you know what i'm gonna be drinking again anyway so it doesn't matter wish me luck it's happening guys look at this and we did an all matte look oh my goodness sugar pill coming through with that yellow what okay so obviously that's all the shades i could fit on my little tiny eyelid okay i want to do blue on the waterline but i feel like i've been doing that a lot recently so should we do purple yeah. Okay, guys, I just found that LA Girl purple liner. I might have to find a ColourPop one because those ones are super creamy. Okay, this one is not the worst. There you go. I don't feel like doing an eyeliner today, so I'm just gonna move on to mascara. It looks phenomenal, right? I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lash on this eye and finish the rest of my face and this eye off camera. And I'm gonna be back with my final thoughts and opinions and... <laughs> And be right back to do quick swatches for you guys as well. So stay tuned until then. So guys, I thought we could get the swatches out of the way. What do we think? I love how bright and pigmented these shades are. Look at that, guys. So freaking beautiful, right? Okay, guys, a few things about this baby right here. The first pro that I have is that I love the size of it. I love how you can just, you know, toss it in your purse and carry it anywhere that you want and create a beautiful, bright eye look. I also love the color story. I appreciate that it comes with a mirror and it's 
it's a heart shaped. I definitely noticed that little detail. The colors all swatched very beautifully. They were very pigmented on the eyelid and they worked really great together, which is another thing that I look in a palette. The colors blended up really nicely together and the packaging is very sleek. I like that it's vegan. They weren't like patchy or anything like that. Like I barely had to put any effort into like blending them together or placing them on my eyes. So I was like really happy with that. Even the yellow shade barely gave me any trouble in the inner corner. The only con it seems like that I have from this palette is that it doesn't have any shimmers. Not even one for like my inner corner and my brow bone, which is okay because this is supposed to be like a matte palette. So there's nothing really to complain. So that's the only con. Okay, actually, you know what? Another con that I may have is that it's a little overpriced, not too much. This was a $30 palette. That's a bit pricey. And I'm not comparing this to ColourPop, but I will compare it to ColourPop. <laughs> only me this has nine shades right and the size looks like very similar to ColourPop's and ColourPop's nine pan palettes cost $14 now and this was $29 which is literally double the price and the quality of this palette is definitely not worth twice as much as ColourPop's you know most of the shades were very buttery but I had trouble swatching two of the green shades if swatches mean anything to you but as you guys can see they worked amazing on the eyelid that's all I have to say about this palette so I hope you guys enjoyed this review let me know down in the comments section below if you guys would like me to do a comparison of the first one and this one which i don't know why i just did that <laughs> which is something i'm looking into anyway i love you guys so much and i'll see you all next time Bye bye